I brainstorm It's safe to say I don't roll with killers They say that panty made the real You tell them crackers let the gang home Try to say they families on the picture What's up y'all? So today It's gonna be a Thanksgiving mood bang Alright, so let me show y'all my plate I got Dressing, sweet potatoes, ham, greens, jerk turkey, baked macaroni, cornbread, and sweet tea. So, hopefully y'all seen all of that. Um, I don't know where my little tripod is. Um, I, don't, I really don't know. Got my napkin, got my spoon. So, I'm going to just do this moot bang for y'all because I love Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday. Hopefully, I got enough space to record the whole thing. This is the plate. You're going to say our grace. going to get to it. God is good. God is great. Let's thank for all food by our hands. We all grace, give great, give faith. Amen. Thank God. Y'all, yeah, this is the, this is leftovers. Like, this is the second day. My plate before was bigger than this, but this is all we had left for real. Of the sweet potatoes and the greens and everything. So, I'm going to mix my dressing with my uh, macaroni. Mm-hmm. So, eat the sweet potatoes with this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to slow down because I'm on here, but I'm going to get messy, bro. Like, I'm going to eat the sweet potatoes. And the dress and the macaroni all together. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it tastes so good. This combination, so good. I almost ain't got no dressing. You know you got to slide a little cornbread in there. I think I... I heated my cornbread up for too long. It's a little hard. It wasn't. It was way softer and moist than that. But the juice softens it up. Y'all, when I say my stepmama went crazy on this, bruh. For real. Some ham. I got like four slabs of ham on here. Um, bro. This is this stuff tastes amazing, bro. Like Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Excuse me. Cause you spend it with your loved ones and you eat good. I need to eat good. Now, man, y'all, I lied. I only had three slabs of him. I wish I gave myself four. It's him blessing. I don't like the back, so. But. Hurry back. I ran out of space. Had to get some more space. But what I was saying was, I gotta see my grace over. That's great, God is good. Let us take you for our food. Buy him, be all grace, give a quick effect. What I was saying was, one thing about me, I'm gonna eat, bro. And I'm trying to gain weight, too. Because. When I was going through, I was going through between the beginning and the end of the year of like 2019 um, and the beginning of 2020, I lost, like, I'm skinny, duh, but I had lost weight and stuff. I had lost weight. And, yeah, I was like so, so skinny, like. Some of my clothes was like wasn't fitting. I just look really skinny. Not that I had a problem with it. It's just I was like 109. And I've always been 
between like 118 between 118 and like up there and you know you know double digits closer to 120 not closer to 110 and stuff and i was just so small and i didn't like it but i'm trying to eat more to gain more but i don't i want to gain like healthy weight i'm not saying i don't i don't know if this stuff is healthy but i don't know i just know it, it tastes good it look good but I don't want to gain the weight on like fast food and snacks, basically, is what I'm saying. So, yeah. I don't want to do none of that. It's a little jerk in here. A jerk in this little bite. Let your soul glow! <laughs> Food tastes so good, made me want to smack my mama. Tweety, where you at? I'm about to come smack you. Let me stop playing. That was highly disrespectful. Sorry, mom. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> ah. No, for real, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, for real. Like, I would never smack my mom. That would be disobeying God. Like, God gonna... If I put my hand on any of my parents, it's over with for me. Over with. I honor God too much to disrespect my parent in that any type of way like that. I don't care how mad they make me. I'm not putting my hand on my parent. I'm not even putting my hand on another human being, to be honest. But most of all, definitely not my parents. The ones I really like, I like forbid, like my parent, my parents, my siblings, and my significant other. Like. That's a vow to God. Like, I would never put my hands on any of them. I don't care how mad I am. Like, my hands should not be placed on anyone out of anger, pure anger at all. I don't care how mad I am. I am not to put my hands on nobody. But, other than that, I love Thanksgiving. Look, this was on my plate right now. I think almost all of them. If y'all ever watch Moo Game, I'm pretty sure like they probably be eating crazy. So if y'all see me eating crazy, like. Don't do too much. Please and thank you. Y'all, I love my hair. I love this hair stuff. It fits me. It's like, it fits my face and everything. I'm kind of getting full though. Trying to cross my legs. <laughs> I only get really, really full when I'm when I um eat fast. The day I know I was bougie, I was underlying like some. No, I'm not gonna say I'm bougie. Is that how you say bougie? Or you say bougie, 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 bougie. <laughs> Bougie, Bowie, Bowie, but no, nah, look, look, browser, <laughs> um, bowling. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, now, now I forgot what I was gonna say. I forgot it now. Excuse me. 
but when I eat fast, but it it was it is a lot of um food on my plate too. So oh I remember. I'm not bougie. I'm not bougie. Nothing about me screams bougie, okay? But I knew I was underlying classy when I drink stuff and I can't drink it like this. Like, every time I, it just go by itself, look. Turn it up. See it? Whoop! <laughs> like, let me try. Even if I try to, like, if I try to force it, let me try to force it down. I see it listing a little bit. Girl, you crazy. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Okay. Sorry, y'all. It was the money calling. <laughs> Me slapper. <laughs> no, I'm just fine. But <clears throat> for some reason, y'all, whoever's watching this, I be on my own little world all the time. Like, for real. I think I've been, well, I'm not going to say think. I know. I've been to, like, in my own little world since I was little. But now that I'm getting older, and like I'm on this like journey of like being more intact with myself, you know, learning myself more than I'm learning others. I'm noticing like a lot of things that I used to do when I was younger and kind of like want to shift back to because like that's that's what kept me peace during that time of when I used to go through things when I was younger. But even at, like, not even just when I used to go through things, but the things that kept me happy when I was that age, too. Because, like, hold on. Because, um, when I was younger, my mom used to be strict on me, which I'm so happy for. My mom used to be strict on me, so... Um, there would be times where I, re I really, when I was younger, I really didn't hang out at friends' house like that. I had this one best friend. I used to stay at her house, but it wasn't like every day. It was only like after school or on the weekends. And every time I spent the night over there, I would have to go to church on Sunday. But this was the same friend I had. And then we, when I moved from um out south and i moved up north my best friend who's still my best friend to this day hey bestie um i used to go to her house all the time but she lived downstairs like in chicago it's like building comp like it's, the buildings are connected the buildings are connected but in the back like the um <clears throat> what disconnects the building from each other is like the backyard um the backyard stairs so like um my best, I, I live on like, I live in the next, to, I literally live in the building next to my best friend. And our bedroom is connected, but my best friend bedroom was on the corner. And my best friend lived on the bottom floor. We lived on the second floor. So my best friend, like, there's kind of like the basement. It's not the basement, like, oh, I'm sorry, I ain't trying to, bro. It's like downstairs, it's like, when you go to her house, you got to go down the concrete stairs and you go to her house. So I used to always be at my best friend's house. But when I was younger, I really wasn't at people's houses like that unless it was like my cousins, um, my cousin Martinique and my twenty Bree. Um Well I going to, yeah, sometimes I Bree house. But it was mostly Martinique. I was mostly at my Auntie Angel house. Or yeah, mostly or at home. But when I used to be at home, like, when I go back to these days, y'all, like, I was the kid that will sit in a room with a chair. I would light the candle. I had this one candle. I remember it. I had this one candle. I would light the candle, and I would read the book. Read the book. This one I was really into reading during that age. And I would read a book. And then when I'm done, what I used to do, I used to listen to music a whole lot, like, I used to have an empty MP3 player. Like, <clears throat> I'm not talking about the touch screens or nothing. I'm talking about the real MP3 player. I'm talking about the real one. I don't even know where that MP3 player is. 
that that mp3 player has some hits bro i'm gonna tell y'all like my dad now had a computer this way you could convert you could download the music from the computer to your mp3 player and stuff so i used to i downloaded all the music from my stepmom's computer so a lot of her music was on that mp3 player drake was on that mp3 player because i think my brother had a laptop me and my brother love drake and i got some drakes from out there and i, I would be bumping some music bumping something and it's crazy because some of the songs i used to listen to i don't know the name i don't know the names to them like i would know the whole song and not know the name to it but yeah like what else i used to do mm. I used to, no, I used to, cause I'm the old, I'm my mom's oldest girl. Okay, so I did. I'm my mom's oldest girl, mom, but my mom's second. I'm my mom's oldest girl, but my mom's second oldest child. It's my big brother, then it's me. On my dad's side, I'm the oldest child and the oldest daughter. So, um, but really, I have older siblings on my dad's side, but if y'all want to get technical, you know, um, on my dad's oldest, um, child, indoor. But, um, everybody, all my cousins, my girl cousins, um, when I used to be at home, like, I, basically what I'm trying to say is, my sisters, my sisters on my mom's side, they're younger than me. Um, well, I'm not gonna say my mom's so I'm just saying my sister's here. My sisters are younger than me, like, um, me and my sister Nay, we have like a, I think we have like a three year, a three year age gap. And then my other little sister, I think we probably got like a, what's she, probably like a five year. I think me and her have like a, probably longer than that. We probably have like a five, six year age gap. And then Armani, I got a whole, Honestly, y'all don't know. I wait. Pootie was okay. I got wait. Pootie was okay. I got a nine year gap between my youngest sister, a six year gap between me and Pootie, and me and they got a three year gap. And like my mom would always buy me toys. Um, for you know for Christmas, I always get a brass doll, or if it was Barbie, I would get a new Barbie with some clothes and like one of the um Barbie house sets, like you know one of the kitchens and stuff. And since my sister wasn't old enough, I wouldn't want to, I didn't play with her. Me and they never played with toys together. I just played by myself. And yeah, I would sit there and play by myself with the brush. I, I would literally sit there and play by myself. So I'm just so used to like being in my own comfort zone and, um, Everything like I'm just so used to my stuff. That makes sense. I'm just used to being. I'm not gonna say I'm a loner, but I best my I'm basically a loner. But I like it because it teaches me. It teaches me my being a loner teaches you. When it's time to be alone, like I know when it's time for me to be alone. Like when it's I need, when it's time to start working on stuff. If I'm not right mentally, if I know I'm reacting in ways in a um mental, in a um, you know, in not in the same mentality basically. Like if I'm just reacting out of like emotion or something, I know that there's gonna be a time where I'm I'm gonna have to be alone. If I'm in too deep into a situation where I just can't be alone at that moment, I just ride it out, you know. And then, you know, God works His mysterious way, mysterious ways, and I end up being back to square one, which is alone. <laughs> but, um. The only thing about being alone is you do get lonely at times. 
Like, there are days, like, okay, let me say this. Because I do have family. I'm not going to say I don't have family. I have family. I love my family dearly. Everything. But I'm not, um, I'm not a child anymore. I'm an adult now. So, um, me growing up, I grew around, I grew up around my siblings. I grew up around my cousins. I grew up around everybody. I forgot to mention I used to be around my cousins and my auntie Maya a lot. But around my family, period. But now that I'm older I don't, and I'm moving to another state and another, and I'm in a, another city and like I'm growing into a adult now. I'm not even a young adult no more because I'm about to be 21. And soon, oh my gosh, as soon as I get to 21, I'll be pushing 25. When I push to 25, I'm gonna be pushing 30. Dang, but more of the story is I'm not a, I'm not a baby no more. Like I'm at the point where it's almost time for me to, you know, um <clears throat> almost that time where I have to start my own family and you know stuff like that. Um uh, hold on. Now I'm at the jerk in the greens. The jerk and the greens together smack because you know how they put meat in the greens? It's kind of like the jerk turkey is giving it that meat in the and then at the same time, it's kind of like it's giving it that meat in it and then the jerk is like the substitute for hot sauce because <laughs> I didn't put any hot sauce on my greens. I just ate it with the jerk chicken and I don't like to eat my food separately. Like I hate it. Like, I need it all to go down. All of it's going down, but it even smack when you add stuff together. I don't know why. The same way I dress, it's the same way I eat. <laughs> but what I'm trying to get to is now I'm getting older. There are times where you know my family isn't as close as they were. Um, my friends that are in Chicago, they not as close as close to me you know in distance as they were so there are times where i'm alone and i do get lonely because there are days it's just me and when i say just me it's because i'm a big girl now i'm a big girl now there i'm soon i will be in my own apartment driving my own car Paying my own bills, which part of it I kind of started doing already. But I'm just saying, like, I'm going into the real world. Um, so, it does get lonely that I have to do a lot of things on my own now. Instead of when I was younger, it was just so easy and cool. And I could go to the park, and I go to my cousin's house, and I could go spend the night. Go to my auntie's house. It's not like that anymore. So, there are times where I go through things, and me getting, being so used to going through things by myself, there are days where I don't want to go through things alone. I have my God at all times, at all times. It's just, there are times where I want to be loved the same as uh, I have loved others, you know. People that I was close to before and I'm no longer close to. Um, people I have given my time to and it was not appreciated during the time. People that was close to me and didn't believe in my dreams, but I believed in theirs. And I put, I invested a lot of time in their dreams and invested a lot of, a lot of, a lot of everything. It means just when you're around people, when you, you know, you were around people for, a time being and then it's like you're not around people at all it's like it do get lonely because you remember the times what the times were and not what the times are now but what i am grateful for is that um even though it gets lonely i've learned how to be able to be alone meaning um i don't need to, there's times I'm lonely and I might, I don't want to 
talk to anyone because I just feel more sane and more. I just feel more sane and more peaceful when I'm just to myself. So there might be nights where if I get lonely and I have, I feel that loneliness coming, I just put my phone on D&D, you know, read the, you know, read the Bible a bit or even work on something. But eventually I'll end up just going to sleep, you know. And then there are times where I'll be lonely if I could shift my focus, meaning that I could be lonely, but I look at the brighter side of it is that this is a lot of time that was given to me by God to work on a lot of things that I did not have time to work on because I was not lonely during those times. So, so all of this is like, it's amazing. Like, even though I just say all that, like, it's amazing to be lonely, a loner, because like, today I don't have to worry about other people's everything. I only have to worry about my life and what's going on in my life and who, besides my family, who I'm going to allow to enter in my life and who's going to stay there for years. Well, who God allows to be in my life and stay there for years. Because once you're growing, it's going to take a lot of, it's going to take a lot of everything when it comes to growth. It's going to take a lot of patience. It's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of growth. It's going to take a lot of losing, a lot of gaining, a lot of appreciating, a lot of tears. But I'm highly grateful because <clears throat> it's going into a new year. And I feel like I have mastered a lot of things that I could not master a long time ago. So, that's period. And I love that. Like, for real. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. It was a bone from the ham hog, I believe. Because that's the type of meat you put in greens. But I'm trying to hurry this up because jerk burning my mouth. All right, who I don't want the fat. But all right, cool. Yeah, wash my hands. But now I'm done. Y'all want to see my food, baby? I'm going to show y'all how. It's my plate. If y'all can see. Whoopsie. Wowzers. I'm gonna wipe this up. Whoops. But this is my plate. So y'all can see I ate everything off of it. Yesterday, y'all, yesterday I ate so much food and then I ate dessert. Not that I ate dessert. Ugh. Excuse me. I had to lay down and go to sleep. No, I had to lay down. I didn't go to sleep till like four in the morning because I was up reading scriptures. But I had to go to sleep because y'all, it was too much food on my stomach. Like I was overstuffed. But let me show y'all my food, baby. Whoa. Y'all look. I don't even got a food, baby, for real. My stomach. Look. 
my stomach's so stuffed. Look, y'all. It's super stuffed down here. I can't even. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. Look. I got nigga I ate it, so I'm about to put go put my food. I mean, put, I didn't. I didn't put my food in my stomach. But I'm finna lay down, y'all. I'm finna go take this in the kitchen. I'm finna lay on my bed. And oh no, I'm probably finna catch some Z's. Cause obviously I'm tired. I can go to sleep right here, right now. Look. I'm just kidding. But yeah, yeah, we lit. If y'all watching this and y'all watch it to the end, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Share with your friends, bro. share with your mama, share with your sister, share with your cousin, all of that. And I just thank y'all for the support and the love. I'm talking too fast. God bless you all. Make sure y'all thank God. Y'all pray for guidance. And I just thank y'all. And I'm out. Peace. Bye.